What a miracle. I must say that that's a miracle. That was actually meant to happen. As far as those women walking down that uh, bike path and finding that newborn baby, that was meant to happen. It was meant to happen for them to hear that little newborn's cries. That was meant to happen. Now, when you think about it, when you really sit there and analyze it and you think about it, it's almost like it was meant to be a miracle, a miracle blessing. The reason why I say that is because the timing of the women that were there that had heard the cries of the baby and when they had contacted the authorities, the timing of it, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, before the outcome, when you think about it, chances were very high that that little baby wouldn't have survived. You know, it was found in a crevice. How could she live with herself after even knowing the fact? that your baby girl that you didn't want will still have a chance at life whether you like it or not. Remarkably, that baby is in stable condition tonight, recovering in the hospital. But the person who left her there is now facing attempted murder and child endangerment charges. Tonight, we're hearing from the woman who found the baby. They say they found the newborn as they walked on the bike path between 136th Street and Slater Avenue. Eyewitness News reporter Amy Powell is there live with their story. Amy. Jory, it is an incredible story. That newborn was found right next to this bike path a short distance from where we're standing. And authorities say it's likely the child would not have survived if it weren't for two women who were out for a walk and heard her cries. It's a niño. It's a baby. Evangelina McCrary heard what turned out to be the cries of a newborn baby while taking a walk with her sister. She told me, she said, can you hear that baby crying? And I said, I don't, I don't know. And I said, it might be a cat. And then my sister said, no, it's a baby crying. The women were walking along a bike path next to the riverbed at 136th Street at Slater around 4 yesterday afternoon. They dialed 911 after discovering the muffled cries were coming from a crevice covered with asphalt and debris. Sheriff's deputies arrived and found a baby girl buried under a foot of rubble. The infant was wrapped in a hospital blanket. There's indication that the child was born at a medical facility or at a hospital. Um, the baby was between 26, I'm sorry, 24 and 36 hours old. Evangelina gets emotional as she talks about how sad she felt when she heard the baby. She says the newborn stopped crying when the deputy cradled her. Authorities say the baby is hospitalized in stable condition. If the child um, had spent the night there in those conditions, the baby wouldn't have survived. An L.A. County official says a life was saved in this case, but he urges mothers who don't want to keep a child to use the Safe Surrender program. All they have to do is cross the threshold of any fire station, any hospital, any sheriff's department in Los Angeles County, and they are safe, the baby's safe. God bless them two ladies that found this baby, and God bless the baby and still alive, strong baby. Again, that baby that the authorities believe was no more than two days old, they believe it is either Hispanic or African American, and they're looking for help from the public to find the person who left that child buried alive. If you have any information, you should contact the L.A. County Sheriff's Department. Reporting live in Compton, Amy Powell, ABC7 Eyewitness News.